I mean, what about Tucker? What was the, the, you know, so the, the theory is no one really knows why the Murdochs got rid of Tucker. One of them is that because Tucker got close to Trump, it was too much for them to control. What are your thoughts on why maybe Rupert Murdoch got rid of Tucker? Well, I think he really liked Tucker. And I read an article earlier today, I believe it was in New York Magazine, about how Rupert still wanted to be able to contact Tucker and liked him and found him charming. But he had also, I think, hired him uh, thinking he was going to be the good country club, slap your back Republican boy and not take on uh, the political far right views that he did, which Frankly, I'm not sure they're so far right as the Murdoch sons, Tweedledum and Tweedledummer, are so far left. We'll see. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I spent 11 years there, and, and I remember the place of being very, very ultra conservative, and, and it, just, it, it felt like a just it felt like home. You know, it felt like home. I don't recognize yeah. the new Fox. Yeah, well, Roger had a special he had a special charisma for people, and I will say that. You know, the first time I met Rupert Murdoch, I was surprised at how unassuming he seemed to be. He was very uh, soft-spoken, walked quietly. Um, when I was around him and his family, I saw that he was very sweet to his daughters, Chloe and Grace, even to his uh, now ex-wives, Anna and Wendy. But you don't get to be uh, a, a successful business a global mogul like he is and was without being ruthless and um, shrewd. And like I said, the Sun King, all authority comes from him. Now, he's not dead yet, right? But he's stepping away, perhaps in a, not a total eclipse, but we'll see how how it goes. When Roger left Fox News, it was like Elvis left the building. El when did. you left, when Bill O'Reilly left, yep. that, you know, you guys, Elvis left the building. When when Rupert leaves, what are they going to say? I don't know. I'm not sure I'm, what they're going to sure. say. I, I, I don't know. I will tell you one thing that it's a metaphor. It's a it's a tell. You know, you play poker. It's a tell. When Roger was let go from Fox, the separation happened. Rupert has this gorgeous office. He had a massive, gorgeous office on nine with the conference rooms and all things going on. He moved into Roger's second floor office. And I guess to be closer to Suzanne Scott and whoever else is running the place, the second floor is where the, the, you know, the, the, the ivory tower for Fox News was. But that struck me as, as odd. Like, did, did Rupert really want to be Roger and maybe never was able to do it himself? I, I think he was very envious of Roger. I think the first time I came on your show, I told your viewers about how, you know, we we got married. We were had a uh, we had sort of a May December relationship. I was 20 years younger, and then he went out and married somebody 40 years younger, and and there were patterns like that that happened. And I think that uh, in the end, uh, the channel is not what it was under Roger. It's more like a ghost ship now. Will Lachlan sell it? You know, he'll probably keep saying, no, I'm not going to sell it. No, I'm not going to sell it. And then they'll do what they always do, which is actually do the opposite of what they say they're going to do. So you're going to uh, see some interesting things unfold, I believe, before the 2024 election. Mm, interesting. Beth Ailes, always good to have you. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Beth. And we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.